guys, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today we are going to be making a little envelope journal. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because we have a little craft challenge going on right now in the My Porch Prints Facebook group. And the challenge is to make an envelope or to use an envelope in an interesting and creative craft project. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And just so you know, I've got a few kits from my Etsy shop that I'm going to be using. And one of those is the Shabby Vintage Envelope Kit. And these are the larger sized envelopes that come with that kit. And I went ahead and printed them two-sided using the printable paper provided. And um, we're also going to be using the Tea Time Journal Kit. And it comes with just a bunch of really pretty shabby tea images. And then um, I'm also going to be using just a few fussy cut flowers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create our envelope journal. And I've already assembled these envelopes from the um, shabby vintage envelope kit. And then I left this one so that I can just show you really quickly how I'm doing that. So um, I'm using just some uh, glue stick glue, but it doesn't usually hold all that great. So I'd recommend a stronger glue if you're going to be doing this. But I'm using this because it dries quickly. And what you do is, well, before you glue, I guess I should tell you, I went ahead and folded these parts. You fold the um, tabs and then the bottom and then the top of the envelope, just like that. And so I went ahead and pre-folded mine. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it in place. Just like that, easy peasy. And once that's dry, I went ahead and um, cut some circular shapes. I don't know if you can see this very well. Out of my envelopes, because we're gonna be using these as tuck spots. And sometimes it's easier to grab things if you have a little bit of a, a cut out here and it looks kind of cute too. So to do that, I've got this one and a half inch circle punch. And I usually try to put links down below if I'm using items that I bought. So I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link to this down below. And <laughs> this is a funny thing. So I've been crafting for a little while now and some things are really obvious to crafters and some things aren't. And I didn't realize that this actually shows the halfway part point of the circle on the side. I don't know if you can see that little divot right there. And so anyway, if you wanna cut a half circle, <laughs> you just match that up on either side of your paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and center it too. And then you can get a nice little half circle. So anyway, you probably already knew that, but it was news to me. <laughs> okay, and once you've got your envelopes, you kind of pick the one that you want for the front cover. And I actually kind of like this one. I think I'm gonna make that my front cover. And um, what, what you do is you take the pieces that aren't the front cover and you fold the front the top flap backwards like this okay and we're going to do that on all of these fold it backwards and then you're going to let's see i gotta remember how this works there we go you're going to tuck it into the first envelope so see this is the first envelope and you've got your backwards flap here and you're going to tuck it in like this and then this is going to be a booklet that we create. And so um, when you do this, you're going to glue the flap down. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glue to the flap. And then I'm going to tuck it in here to the envelope, just like this. And kind of push it down. And then that's gonna become kind of like um, a page in a booklet. And we're gonna repeat that for the next one. So, and I didn't make this up. I know I saw it on a video, but it was years ago and I honestly don't remember which one. So I'm really sorry for not giving credit for that. But um, if I knew, I would tell you. <laughs> and so same thing on here, we're going to take our backwards folded flap and tuck it into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glue. Just like that. And 
and we're going to repeat it for the last page too. And you can do as many pages as you want. I just did like four envelopes, but you could do more or less, whatever you want to do. And so again, it's folded backwards, right? And we're going to put the glue on this side. And we're going to tuck it into this envelope, just like this. And then that's your little booklet. And mine's a little crooked and wonky because I'm kind of hurrying through this instead of matching all my edges up properly. But you kind of get the idea. And if your edges are wonky, you can always cover them with some lace and stuff. We're going to add some embellishments to this that might help with that too. Okay, so now we've got this little booklet. And the cool thing is the envelope part makes its own little um, tuck spot. So you can take like a little tag or card and tuck it in here. And that can be part of your booklet. And this one's a little tight right there. I probably should mention that you need to give it a little bit of space to fold it. If you get it too tight, this little crinkling will happen right here. So that was my bad. I should have put a little more space in and just spaced it apart a little bit more. Um, and then on this last page, so this is the first envelope, the front cover. And you can take the flap from this and just wrap it around and glue it. Or you can, um, if you want, tuck it into here. Oops. And then this will become another little tuck spot too. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just glue this one. And so now we've got our little envelope booklet and we can start decorating it. And this booklet can be a standalone piece or you could use it um, in a larger journal and tuck it inside a pocket or something if you want to. So I've got some of the Fussy Cut flowers and some pieces from my Tea Time journal kit. And I'm going to go ahead and just decorate it using these pieces. So follow along if you want. Thanks.
Okay, and this is our little envelope journal. We've got cute little tags and even little tuck spots here where we can add tags if we want to. Oops, this little guy got glued. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and tie a little ribbon around this, I think, to kind of keep it closed. There we go. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone.